This is KTV Series 4 Video 7 and this week um, it's a very windy day in Didcot because this week's filming trip is to Didcot Parkway. Uh, finally back to filming on Saturdays again and I'm already enjoying it and I haven't even started yet. So yeah, um, Didcot Parkway, not much to say but besides the Great Western stuff. The train now approaching. But uh, enough talk, this is a fast train bike. I'll tell you more about it in a little bit. Thank you for watching KTV Series 4 Video 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the video. Alright then, YouTubers. Alright, there it goes. That train there, uh, there was an announcement saying it wasn't going to stop, and it did stop. It stopped right outside the car park, rain. didn't move his arse for about 10 minutes. And now it's moving, it got delayed, I don't know, it was the red light there. It's because of, uh, because of this. This is this uh, little junction over here is called Didcot East. And uh, I'm filming at the Park Parkway, but also catching capturing footage that goes along junction as well because they go really fast. So that um, 165 you just saw was going to Oxford but not calling it Didcot Parkway. So any trains that don't call at Didcot Parkway will just go straight along Didcot East in, in if they're heading towards Oxford and not calling it Didcot. Those include uh, cross-country voyages going to Bournemouth and your way to Manchester. Uh, 180 Atlanta is going to Hereford, Great Malvern, London Paddington. 165 is going to Oxford and London Paddington, not to call it a good cop. There is a few uh, slow trains today, there's been a heaping load of delays here at Didcot Parkway, but hopefully it will perk up a bit soon. But yeah, it's only a Didcot Parkway itself, so that's Didcot East, Didcot Parkway, so there's high speed train services to Bristol and Swansea, some of them stop and some of them don't. Fast ones are the ones I'm seeing. I got disappointed by that first one. We got a train coming in here, and we also got 165s that do stop at the car park. But it's not much. It's a fast train, and this is one I'm getting cheered up. Uh, it's a fast train.
Actually, quite surprised at this. It's not an H. It's not an Atalanta going to Hereford. This one is the HST going to Hereford. Sometimes they do that, I guess. I have seen it before. A bit strange, though.
Preston, service to Reading. YouTubers, I'm almost done here now. I did cop, and I tell you, it, it, it is the best railway station I've visited in my entire time filming trains. It really is. It's a top railway station, did cop. I recommend it to anybody, anyone who's anyone who loves, who likes trains, or is an enthusiast. Come here and spend the rest of your life here because it is amazing. Actually, don't spend the rest of your life here. Spend, stay overnight because you know you get the full effect every day. But I'm not. <laughs> I got to go home. I got shit to do. Excuse my language, but still. There's a voyage for you. Did cut east that one? Well, going along it. Only four coaches going to Newcastle from Southampton Central. Into Southampton, and then a departing high-speed train leaving here, which has come all the way from Carmarthen because it's a Saturday. And Saturday there is a one train a day going to Carmarthen. I'm going to Carmarthen during the summer. They extend it to Carmarthen and to also to uh, Pembroke Docks as well. But uh, Carmarthen looks a decent station to visit at some point, and so does Swansea, but. Uh, Pembroke Docks is not. It's really sorry to say, but I, I think a lot of you, you know about it. Really We've got two, uh, we've got a 165 over there, and uh, I've been filming a lot of the new 166s that have just been um, dispatched onto the railway network now in the new livery. It's absolutely amazing. The, uh, the new 166s that run with uh, 165s are very second favourite station. Yeah, so there's been a bit of uh, freight here. Let's not go anywhere at all. It's just going to stay there. It's going in my way, really. I don't know about those two platforms. Yeah, this station's, this station's really good. I recommend it to anybody who's anybody who likes trains. Did Cot Parkway is the station for anyone. Likes filming trains. I can't get enough to say that. But this has been a top station. And uh, yeah, we're nearly done here. There's still a few more clips to go. But uh, yeah, up next uh, the KTV. We move back into North Devon for Starcross on Wednesday because I'm on Easter break from college. So I'm off to Starcross. Starcross, a lovely little two-platform station. I've been there before, you should, um, if you remember. If you've, if you've subscribed to me for long enough, you'll remember I did a train at Starcross video and I also merged it with Tynmouth as well. Um, quite some time back. It was back in the summer. 
Doesn't time fly, eh? It's almost summer again. Um, then after that, it's a Saturday trip again, off to the Southwest Trains World again to Eastley. And Eastley, a uh, free platform station, reminds me a little bit of Totnes because of the middle tracks in, in, in the middle of it, but there's more variety at Eastley than there is at Totnes, so Eastley's bound to be better. Um, after that, um, I'm afraid I've had to cancel Weymouth due to the fact that it's not summertime yet and there's not enough trains and I have to wait five hours there if I want to go home. So I don't really want to do that because be, I have two hours filming there and then three hours, you know, I have an hour looking around but then I'll get bored. I don't want to get bored. So Weymouth is postponed and so is Poole and Bournemouth is postponed as well. Really sorry for that. But uh, yeah, carrying on. Starcross is going to replace Weymouth. Then we've got Eastley, and then uh, next Wednesday, because I've got another week off, is Cardiff Queen Street. So up, up to Wales again, and then Saturday after that, we're off to another first great Western fast train zone in Slam. And that's going to be exciting. And then we've got the big Birmingham New Street at the end of it all. So, oh, no, I thought I passed non passenger zone then. The sign that says passengers can't cross the line, I thought I passed it, but I didn't. Um, yeah, the only reason I'm uh, talking is because I'm just trying to kill a bit of time because my videos got a bit short at the moment. So, I just like to talk to me, geez. That train is, is, should be moving, but it's not because of this. We've got a fast Bristol to London Paddington service going on. Not really going fast, though, is it? Okay, so I've had a think about Series 5 still. And uh, I have decided that it's going to kick off with Woking. So I'm going to go up to Woking for Series 5, the year one, for definite. And other stations that I will want to go to are Clapham Junction. I also want to go to, well, where is it, um, Winchester. That's another one. And the only other one I want to go to, the only other two I want to go to are Oxford, which just down the line. It's called Ports of Harbour. That was it. Yeah. So I'll stop talking now because I've killed. I've killed six minutes. All right. So yeah. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of this video because there isn't one left now. So YouTubers, this is it. I didn't say I said there was long. Oh, I did say there wasn't long left, and that was the last train. I wait for it to leave. It was uh, those long six fives been held up today, and pretty much everything else has been held up today. It's because um, there's been a lot of congestion today. Probably because it's Saturday, and probably because it's Easter next weekend, and the Easter rush is back, and I will be in Eastley in Easter rush. Here, East Easter. Hmm weird coincidence but it's not very weird because it's just the east bit that makes me smart giggle a bit um yeah so uh eastly next week and starcross before that um so starcross is going to be really good i think because it's a lovely nice little north devon trip there local to me it's only about uh 50 odd minutes away so just change it newton abbott and get a train over there so you'll see class 143 paces again that starcross and you'll see non-stopping voyages non-stopping hsts first great western hsts and if we're lucky cross-country hsts too if i go at the right time which i probably will um so we'll probably see a couple of cross-country hsts as well but the paces um maybe some sprinters as well if it's not paces it probably will be paces um maybe paces and sprinters so yeah, I also want to announce something very special that's coming up for, um, for me. 
personally, and I've got a charity event coming up soon that I've uh, decided to do to raise some money for Cancer Research UK. And what I'm going to do, and I don't know if you guys will be, be along with this if you think it's a good idea, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, charity filming event where I'm going to go up to, you know, work my way up to each station, like, constantly not come back to Plymouth until I'm done. That sort of thing. It's, it's a big, um, it's a bit like an a expedition. Say that. But it's for charity, and it's a really big thing to do, so... I'm going to do it. So, I'm going to look more into it, and if, hopefully, if it goes to plan, I'll have more details about it soon. But for now, I've been Kieran. This has been the amazing, terrific Didcot Parkway. And uh, I bid you farewell for now. I'll see you in the Starcross video if I make it.